Well, hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with your messages for August 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Okay, without further ado, we'll get straight to your reading. Uh, just to let you know that I will be announcing the winner of the ring competition if you entered that last month. I'll be announcing that in eight days time. Uh, you'll win a ring uh, a little bit like this one. I'll make it especially for you. Um, so just to let you know what's happening there. There's been quite a few messages, so I'm going through them slowly but surely. Okay, let's get straight to the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarius? What do they need to know for their highest good? August 2020. Thank you so much. Oh, interesting. Temperance, Sagittarius, you've opened your own reading. I expect nothing less from you, my beautiful Sagittarians. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Thank you. Oh, okay. So, for those of you who are new to my channel, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card, as I believe that is my energy and not the message you're meant to receive. Everyone is different, so there is no right or wrong way. Um, it's just my way, so please fast forward during these moments. I don't like to waste anyone's time. So, the protagonist energy, this is the energy moving you forward for the month of August, is the Temperance card. As you know, uh, this is Sagittarian energy, and this is about balance and harmony. It's also about patience, and you recognize that uh, you've needed to slowly make your way towards um, your destination or your goal, and it has taken you um, a lot of hard, uh, uh, they're giving me blood, sweat, and tears. They're saying blood, sweat, and tears. So that it's given, you've put a lot of hard work into this situation, and um, sometimes it has caused you anxiety, and um, but ultimately you're having some sort of self-control or moderation. Patience has been called for just before you saw uh, high into the air, saw as in S A uh, S O R. I'll start again, S O A R, saw into the sky as a bird. You're transcending, okay? Uh, they're really highlighting that there is a heart on this ascension. So you're recognizing that there is something that you love to do, that you following your heart is the ultimate answer in this situation. And you're propelling yourself forward, recognizing that your heart knows best and so does your intuition. Now, they are giving me that there was something really making you very worried, very anxious here, as you can see. You may have even felt, now this is a message for somebody in particular, you may have even felt that somebody um, was either preying on your good nature and taking, you for, uh, taking advantage of you or being an en energy vampire. They were sucking the life out of you is what they're giving me here. I get this card all the time, but I read it differently each time. And what they're showing me here is this claw that is pulling down, um, it's almost like the lip area to expose the teeth there. So you may have felt someone was, you know, oh, interesting, thank you so much. Uh, I'll give you that message in a moment. That's obviously for somebody else. Um, what they're giving me here is there was an anxiety. You may have felt you were prey to somebody. Um, they, they're, yeah, they're just taking your energy, uh, sucking your life for, force out of you. And as you can see, it's getting over that anxiety in order to rise up and be free. Liberate yourself, but follow your heart. Now, they just gave me, uh, as I mentioned, the teeth. Uh, I've got a cold breeze coming here. As you can see, the candle's moving. Um, there's no window over there, but anyway. Um, they're just giving me an indication that this is for somebody in particular. Um, there is an issue with somebody's teeth. Uh, is what they're giving me here. Now, Sagittarius, I think this came up before for you in a reading, um, something about teeth. So um, you may, uh, something about, wow, this is quite precise. Something about brushing and flossing your teeth. I mean, I mean, everybody should be doing that. So <laughs> I don't know what the message is there, uh, but what they're giving me is it's very important. Uh, maybe you have, there is one, they're showing me a couple of teeth. It's not just one. They're showing me two teeth, but this, um, that uh, there is some sort of issue there. Maybe you've got um, some sort of issue with your teeth. Okay, um, they're not showing me anything more than that, and they're saying that that is a specific message for somebody. 
okay? Um, so we'll move on from that because that's obviously quite precise energy that I'm picking up on. Uh, ultimately, you're moving ahead with harmony, balance, and you're recognizing that your patience is starting to pay off. Now, in the antagonist position, we have the High Priestess card, which is, uh, this is Virgo energy, and it's about some sort of, um, some sort of secret or mystery that uh, was under the surface. Now, you may have felt with your intuition, uh, you may have felt something um, was about to reveal itself, uh, and you, you should trust your instincts because actually they were correct, but you may have doubted yourself because it is in the antagonist position. So something is coming to light here. They want you to trust your intuition, but this is also the energy to overcome because sometimes, my beautiful Sagittarians, um, you know the truth of a situation. You can feel it in your gut, your, your instincts, but you often dismiss it because you want to believe in the best in people. And um, in the end, it transpires that it's revealed you, you're correct, okay? 99.9% .9 you are correct is what they're giving me here. Now, okay, um, so what they're giving me, this Virgo energy uh, is about higher learning. Also, there is a mastery at play here. So what they're giving me is that, um, you're proceeding towards something that is connected to higher learning. Um, you may need to take a course or um, in some way um, do some sort of online learning or some sort of tutoring uh, tutorage um, where you start to master your craft or um, you gain extra skills, uh, an extra skill set here um, for whatever it is that you do. They're showing me the crown chakra, so it's opening up and learning, but also trusting your instinct. Whatever you do, you have a natural propensity to do this thing. Um, but they're showing me that sometimes you don't believe in yourself. This high priestess ener energy in the antagonist position, uh, this is the energy to overcome. It often leads you to um, delay your progress, is what they're giving me. Um, so it's about believing yourself, trusting in yourself that you are enough and that you're a very creative person. You're very creative, very connected. Sometimes you feel a little bit disconnected is what they're giving me. And you don't believe um, in your abundance. Also, there is a healing. Um, they're, they're showing me the stars. Uh, there's a healing that is taking place here that sometimes you dip into it and sometimes you stay away from it because you think, all right, I've had enough now. Uh, I'm going to move away. Surely I'm done. But then you recognize you need to come back to it. There is like an in-out energy towards it. Ultimately, um, you may be shying away from some sort of higher learning um, because there is a path. Okay, thank you. Um, what they're giving me is that there is a path that has, go has been revealed to you um, Perhaps it's a new job or some sort of new um, avenue to take in terms of your life purpose, uh, some sort of um, wake up call, especially since we have the judgment on the board here as well. Um, and you need to do some extra learning or some sort of courses or something, um, take some more knowledge um, to action this. And you may be thinking, now's not the right time. They want you to overcome this energy of putting it off. They're saying the time is now. The time is now, is what they're saying. Okay, so the judgment card has also come up. This is the unifying energy. So this is the energy that brings it all together for your uh, uh, abundance and fruition. And the judgment card is about, you know, having clarity, being so clear about your destination. You've made a final decision to action whatever it is that you truly desire. Now you've been weighing up a few avenues there and you're wondering where is your heart in all of this? Where does your passion lie? And there is one spark, they give me one spark in a, an arena that really speaks to your soul. And that's the energy that you saw up. Um, it gives you freedom, as you can see, in order to transcend any feeling of, of being stuck in one place because Sag, you know, you hate to be uh, stuck in one place. You're a mover and a shaker in this world. And uh, you finally kind of, it's almost like it is a bit of a wake up call because you may have even thought, I don't even know where my life purpose is. You know, um, I'm good at lots of things. I enjoy lots of things. Variety is the spice of life is what they're giving me. Variety is the spice of life. 
So you may have wondered if there's so much on offer to experience in this world, how could I possibly narrow it down to one avenue? But August, it feels very much like you're starting to move in a certain direction for your prosperity. One avenue, again, I've got a cold breeze here. One avenue uh, speaks to your soul a lot more than the others. And you start, there, there, it feels like there is going to be a new opportunity in this area for you to walk forward and do something exciting, some sort of new start. Now we're gonna go deeper. I'm using the, um, oh, this was the White Witch Tarot, the one I've just opened with, and now I'm using the traditional Rider Waite Tarot to gain uh, the energy of the reading. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, very grounded energy. Sagittarius, you're looking at your money and you're looking good. That's what they're showing me here. This is about creating security for you and your loved ones in terms of your finances. Sometimes people actually turn to you for advice. Again, Virgo energy, um, but this is about you embodying that energy, even though you're a fire element. This is about a grounded, uh, reliable source of income. You're looking at that and planning um, ahead for your financial future, okay? So you're being very resourceful and you're thinking about your home. So I know everyone, it's an obvious thing to say, a lot of us are indoors, we're at home because of what's going on around the world. But you're looking about how can you make your money work for you and how can you make a little go a long way and save the rest. I feel very much you're palming stuff to the side um, for a rainy day. So you're looking at your finances, you're being very balanced and very level-headed, they're saying level-headed is the word that they're giving me with regards to your finances because you're thinking how can i use this opportunity to come out on top when it comes to finances despite what's going on around the world at the moment so you may be looking at new avenues to make money um, as well as saving as much as you can for a rainy day now interestingly enough we've got the hierophant in reverse Okay, look at what's happening here. So this is um, the Hierophant in reverse, uh, along with the High Priestess, they're both higher learning cards, okay? Both of them about teaching and about learning. So when you have that Hierophant in reverse here, and that uh, High Priestess in the antagonist position, they're showing me you are shying away from um, learning new skills in order to um, action this new path. It's almost like you just... It's not that you don't want to, Sag. It's just like you got so much other stuff going on on your plate. It's finding the time. And then when you're settling down of a maybe of an evening or something, you're pooped. And you're just like, I, you know what? I, I know I need to do some learning. I know I want to go in a certain direction. But you know what? I just, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And we all know that saying. Well, I hope we all know that saying. Tomorrow never comes. They are all, tomorrow is always tomorrow. Today is today. So there is no time like the present. Um, the Hierophant is also about uh, institutions. Um, the, you know, uh, how can I put that? Institutions uh, where you could learn like schools, colleges, etc., etc. It feels like you just don't want to deal with those sort of um, things right now. But also it's about, you're very unique. You've, you've got a lot of originality about you. So you're also looking at some of the things that, uh, you know, courses online, you're, you're like, intuitively, you know what there is to know about the path that you want to take. But um, you're so original that the ideas that you have often are way up ahead and way above any of the courses online. Um, that, Nobody can teach originality is what they're saying. Nobody can teach originality and you've got that in spades, Sag, okay? So I also see another reason why you're shying away from committing um, to taking courses, spending money where you don't need to. You're being very, very resourceful with your money is what they're giving me here. Now with this Hierophant in reverse, also um, when we're talking about um, domesticity because the high priestess is also about domesticity secrets coming to light things being revealed within your home settlement um, this could be to do with a marriage okay when you get the reverse uh, it could be to do with um, some sort of breakup okay we're gonna go deeper and find out at the moment the energy they're giving me here is about higher learning 
and um, actioning this higher learning in order to get on the path that you need to be on for your prosperity and to rise up and uh, gain more finances and be more emotionally um, happy with uh, your lifestyle. Now we have the Hermit card, another Virgo card. This is about spiritual illumination, okay? A quest for clarity. Interestingly enough, again, it's just clarifying the overall energy for August, which is judgment card is a, a final decision, a clarity. And what do you have to do in order to gain that? You need to take yourself off for a little while in solitude to really mull things over and think about your path. Are you on the right path? Does it suit your soul? Does it set your soul on fire? Um, how are you of service to a particular role? Okay, so some of you may be thinking about um, either teaching jobs or uh, jobs or careers where you are of service to other people. Now that could be in terms of health um, because Virgo energy is always about health and things like that. But it also could be about, um, you know, how you can be at service in your community, how you can be of service in healing other people because they're really highlighting this lantern for me and this is the first time I've really been highlighted the lantern it's actually a star inside that lantern and I've not seen that before and I use these cards all the time okay star is Aquarian energy it's about hope it's about inner clarity it's about having faith that miracles um, are at play here but you need to check in with your guides check in with your deep instinct that all-knowingness that is deep within you and see which path you need to take for your highest good. Okay, what else are we dealing with here for my beautiful Sag? Ooh. Ace of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so Ace of Swords in Reverse is, you know, um, there's a lot of mental blocks um, that may have preceded uh, a situation. Um, there were a lot of stress with went with this, and you feel like, a little bit stuck in terms of ideas is what they're giving me here now you may have also felt that you had some sort of poor judgment in with regards to uh, some sort of saving or money um, or that there was a poor judgment made about money that affected you is what they're giving me here um, you could be when we got uh, aces on the board, it's about a new problem, okay? Something new that has come on in here. So you may have a mental block about uh, your finances um, in trying to um, find solutions, new solutions to things that uh, may have gone not as well as you'd hoped, but you're still trying to maintain that balance there. Um, yeah, we have the four of pentacles here, so it is about releasing anything that does not serve you. There is going to be uh, some sort of reveal. When you have the High Priestess, I would not, I, I, I fully expect the Moon card to show up because there is a reveal that happens here for you with this High Priestess mode. Um, and you have to trust your instincts and your intuition on this. Now with this Four of Pentacles, um, they're showing me in the reverse and what they're showing me is uh, you need to let go of anything that is weighing you down, okay? Because um, thinking about money, which is very, very important, of course, uh, but they're, it's almost like they're asking me, where's the fun? Don't let life pass you by, okay? Life is for living. You've got to enjoy some of your money. So <laughs> it's almost like they're like, okay, yes, there isn't enough to go around. Um, yes, we are going through some difficult times and buckling down is very important but they're showing me remember to live uh release the the purse strings a little bit um because what okay thank you what they're giving me is um when you know that you have enough more comes towards you and if you believe that you have enough for the situation that you're in more will come towards you okay very precise information for somebody out there that is not for everybody um, there's a lot of um, hardship at the moment I understand that um, but they're, they're saying the more that you count your pennies oh I don't like this message but anyway I'm going to give it to you because they're giving it to me um, the more that you count your pennies it's like a watch pot never boils that's what they're giving me a watch pot never boils if you're constantly going um, that's one cent that's two cent or I've got this much um, what they're showing me is um, 
there seems to be never enough. So don't watch the pot. Don't be always having your eye on the money. Um, you need to lighten up a little bit. Okay, don't shoot the messenger on that message. That's for somebody in particular. Um, but uh, that's what they're giving me there. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have uh, two of pentacles. Um, and in the upright position, this two of pentacles suggests that there is two choices that you have to take, you have to make. Now, it really feels, especially with the judgment card, um, as I said, there is one avenue in particular that really speaks to your soul. But when you've got the two of pentacles involved, this may mean that you have some sort of multitasking to do. So you may keep a job that you have that is, a, you know, a, a, a nine to five kind of job. Maybe you're working from home on something. You've been lucky enough to keep that. Um, or if not, you're, you're still out there working um, in a job that pays the bills, which is very, very important. But there's something that speaks to your soul that you want to action, like a life purpose, some sort of spark that has happened in the last couple of months that's got you sitting up and wondering, can you action this? Multitasking, okay, is what I'm getting. You may run this passion project or something on the side. You have a couple of options here with this card, um, but ultimately it shows, they're showing me that you're gonna start following your heart. And that this will actually grow very financially. Uh, it'll be very, a very exciting path to take. Now, the death card is in reverse. So they're showing me here that right now, um, when you're thinking about um, planning financially, uh, you're being very clever about your money. Okay, but in the situation that you're in at the moment, it shows me um, that there, you're feeling a bit stuck. Okay, um, stuck for new ideas or solutions. Um, but there is one one beacon of light that they're giving me that's been on your mind you've been weighing it up a little bit and it's this inertia that you've had but you're, you're going to transcend this okay um they want you to action this i'm just going to check uh, we're going to move on um i need to clarify uh one of the cards there which is that death in reverse um thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful sag what do they need to know August 2020, can you please guide them for their higher good? What do they need to know for August 2020? I'm ready to receive the messages and I'm grateful for the messages so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, how would you like to receive? Yeah. Okay. So what they're giving me here is that if you don't listen to your intuition, if you don't reach up and um, do some sort of... Um, higher learning, connecting to your higher learning and releasing things that do not serve you. Um, and it, it will stop you from following your heart. And that leads to heartbreak. Okay. Um, this three of swords there is, uh, it will, it, it will bring you down. Okay. So this, this card is a painful, um, a painful card. It can be about loss. Um, but ultimately they're giving me in this situation with this spread, they're giving me that this will lead you to be, you know, very down and feel like you've lost out. Very painful not to follow your heart's desire. But it feels like you haven't come across your heart's desire until recently. Okay? But um, they're showing me if you do not action, take action on the path that you truly want to take. And even if it's just as a sideline business or whatever, uh, venture, they're giving me the word venture, not business, that's interesting, venture. Uh, even if it's a sideline, you're still doing it. But if you don't, then you will feel stuck and you'll feel like it's painful to be where you are because there is no progress, uh, is what they're giving me. Page of Cups in reverse, yeah. So this is you weighing up. Do you, do you proceed the way that you've been going or do you follow your bliss? Page of Cups is about following your bliss following your heart and at this present time they're just giving me for the foundation read just so you're aware um, with this is a foundation read it's almost like a backstory telling me um, what energies I'm checking into and they're showing me that um, perhaps you're not fully actioning your bliss not doing exactly what you love at this moment in time because you don't feel money will come from there you don't feel money will flow from there but actually that is n not the case, is what they're giving me. Uh, we will clarify uh, in a little bit more, but it feels like there is some sort of, um, 
dependence. Someone may be dependent on finances for you, um, or you feel like you, you uh, need to look after somebody in terms of finances, and that is preventing you from actioning what you truly desire. Now they're giving me a dual energy also to this, which is um, some sort of uh, separation in terms of love, because the Page of Pentacles, um, you know, when they come on in, a new, that's a new love offer, but when you have it in the reverse, it's a separation. And as well, uh, with that Three of Swords, it could be a heartbreak or loss, some sort of separation um, has occurred and um, you're going solo, uh, looking after yourself, but now wondering what path do I take? Um, what is my, um, my prosperity path? Where am I being led? Okay, this is you investing. So even though it's an earth element here with this card, seven of pentacles there is about patience. So again, it's over the temperance card. It's to do with finances, but also investing, sowing the seeds and watching them grow. So whatever you're investing, whether it's higher learning, when you eventually get there, because it feels like it's an energy that you have to action, but you've been shying away, putting it off is what they're giving me, putting it off for a little while until the time is right. Now, it is the high priestess, so you will know when the time is right by trusting your intuition. And there may be some sort of reveal um, this month. Now, people always think, Secrets or mysteries or reveals are like dun 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 cloak and dagger things. It could be something as simple as a piece of information you stumble across online where there is a job that is available that you're like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. They're looking for someone to do this. This would be amazing. I could do this as a sideline job with what I do at the moment. It could be that. So, uh, Reveals and secrets are not always, um, you know, sort of um, terrifying things. They're often there for your higher good. Even if they're a painful reveal, sometimes for people, they're often there for your higher good so that you can transcend the energy and move on. Um, but what we have here with this um, seven of uh, pentacles here is you're working your ass off, okay? And it is taking time, but you're balanced, you're measured in uh, your craft and you're working hard it may have been delayed success, but it was worth waiting for because it's about to pay off. Uh, things are coming to fruition here. As you can see, all these pentacles growing on that bush. Now is the time to reap what you sowed. It's slow progress, but it is progress, okay? So uh, it is definitely worth waiting for, aha. See, we got that hangman energy. So you're making a decision about a path. You have a choice here. And you're wondering, can you action this thing on the side? And you're also releasing anything that does not serve you. With this hangman, you're getting a new perspective. Okay? There is wisdom that comes from this situation. Um, you put yourself on this tree of life to gain new perspective, to gain new wisdom. Now, because it's over the hierophant, um, you're putting yourself in a different position to learn something. Now, this could be, as I said, um, some sort of spiritual um, illumination. It could be to do with higher learning in terms of uh, taking a course online. Uh, there is wisdom that needs to be gained in order to proceed towards this um, life's purpose or this prosperity path, whatever this career is because uh, it feels like it's career okay that's what i'm apart from these two cards which i need to clarify now in a moment with the death card um I, they're giving me um it's like a way of life a lifestyle change that you're actioning in some way there we go so this uh we have two of cups now two of cups is in the romantic sense so i'm just going to get a clarifier before i talk about this two of cups i'm going to get a clarifier for these three cards um, I'm just going to use the Light Seer's Tarot uh, to gain uh, clarity about. Um, can you please clarify the Death card? Ooh. Thank you. Interesting. It, it falls over the Death card. Four of Cups. Interesting. I'll come to that in a moment. Can you please clarify the Three of Swords in the upright? And can you please? Thank you so much. Okay, so <clears throat> what uh, the death card is clarified by the Four of Cups. So um, they're showing me here you felt uh, stagnant, very, very stuck, 
and uh, maybe you've lost a little bit of hope there um, with this death card in reverse, felt a bit fed up because there was some sort of, um, it feels like you may have thought there was a, a missed opportunity, okay? Um, and there was no direction, but they're clarifying it with it in reverse to suggest that there is a new outlook now and a new option available to you that comes to the surface around about the third week of August. It may even be the end of the second week into the third week they're giving me, around about the 15th maybe. They're giving me 1-5 August. So, <clears throat> yeah, so you, you may have felt fed up, um, but uh, there is a new opportunity that comes your way in order to reverse that emotion is what they're giving me here. So there's a new uh, new option that pops up. It is a bit of a surprise, um, but it is... Okay, I will, I'm not sure what this message means, but I'll give it to you. Uh, living life in Technicolor. Living life in Technicolor is what they're giving me. I don't know if that's film. I don't know if that's animation. I don't know. Technicolor... Technicolor Dreamcoat, that's uh, a musical, isn't it, or something? Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but living life in Technicolor. Maybe it even means, you know, living life, the life of your dreams, okay? Living it so everything's so clear, Technicolor, clarity, you know. Um, so some opportunity presents itself to you. Now, the heartbreak they're giving to me is... Um, <clears throat> The King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles, it looks like uh, you may have been dealing with someone who was um, at the top of their game, perhaps. Uh, they were very money-oriented, and they may even come off as a bit of a lone wolf, um, just in search of uh, <clears throat> financial security. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I I'm starting to lose my voice, so uh, this person may not be very good at communicating. Um, they, they often maybe stay silent on you and they just seem to be off actioning their career. Uh, this is Taurian energy, so it could be someone with a Taurus placement. Uh, but as you can see, that wolf there, it feels very much like lone wolf. So you may have felt shut out in the cold by this person, um, that they were not very affectionate. Um, they just seem to be married to money. Interesting energy married to money okay so you may be separating from somebody like that um, is what they're giving me here now with the page of cups in reverse about not actioning what it is you truly love to do following your bliss they are confirming that energy with the queen of wands queen of wands in the upright is leo energy and it's about having self-confidence and self-assurance to lead in the path of your dreams okay when we get the wands it's about uh, passion uh, creativity whatever you're trying to action whatever you're trying to achieve you bring the magic you have that magic within you you just have to have confidence to lead um, yourself forward in the path of your dreams that's what they keep giving me here so um, finances will flow from your passions okay so they just want you to be aware of that but you actually have something very unique, a very um, original spark about you. Um, and um, yeah, you, you are the light. Okay, so you can reach for your dreams and you can achieve them, but you must have confidence is what they're giving me here. Now, um, they're also giving me this uh, two of cups. Okay, so this suggests that there is some sort of romantic proposal on the cards for you or a partnership in business. Now, um, I'm going to clarify this card because it looks like there was a separation. Now, you may have been going through because we have Hierophant in the same um, column here, Hierophant in reverse, High Priestess energy as well, which is higher level commitments um, and hi higher level spirituality. You may have had a separation from somebody who, uh, as I said, was a bit of a lone wolf and left you with, there was no emotion there. But it looks like someone new is coming on in. Um, there is some sort of a partnership or romantic love interest on the cards for you. Um, <clears throat> this could also be, uh, thank you so much, a unison. I just wanna clarify that card. Ha, yeah, okay, and one more to clarify. Is uh, this person, um, can you please clarify this 10 of cups and this, Two of Cups, can you please clarify? 
I, you know, I'd be really surprised if they uh, they clarify it with the hierophant in the uplight. <laughs> that would be exciting. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? Um, can you please clarify that Two of Cups with the Ten of Cups? What do they need to know in regards to this love connection? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, what we have here is a reunion card, someone from the past coming back. Okay. Um, now we have the two, it feels like soulmate energy. Um, we've got the two of cups, which is soulmate. Uh, yeah, when it comes to love, this is a soulmate partnership. Okay. Um, this often leads to higher level commitment and um, marriage. Okay, very interesting because then we got it clarified by the Ten of Cups, which is a complete uh, total love and support and, uh, you know, higher level commitment relationship. Um, all dreams come true, meeting the person of your dreams or being with the person of your dreams. Um, and if you wanted a family, uh, raising a family together. Okay, so that is total love and support. Um, but we also have the Six of Cups. So this is someone returning from your past. Now, this does not mean an ex-lover. It could be a friend that you lost touch with is coming back around and uh, it is now the right timing. It could be uh, someone from college, it could be someone that you used to work with, it could be an ex-lover that you know timing was always off. Um, it feels like someone from your past is returning and they've got you on their mind. They want a reunion with you, okay? Now it looks like they have love on their mind they want to bring in a solid love offer towards you this is very separate to the path that you take but it feels like um what they're giving me is once you action this new path you meet them so you may meet them when you're doing some sort of study i'm just going to get a clarifier they're giving me that they've asked me to clarify with this deck thank you so much spirit lies very angels can you no, sorry, they just said wrong deck. I thought they meant that one. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please clarify? Um, can you please clarify where my beautiful Sag may meet this person? Um, uh, where in the path that this person shows up? Is this someone they meet when they're studying? Um, is that the energy that they have to overcome in order to meet this person? Can you please guide them? Thank you so much. Uh, we have Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so when we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, this suggests that this is someone uh, that you're currently not talking to. Um, this is someone um, you may have fallen out in the past. Um, there may have been a falling out with this person, but you've always held a cup of love for them. Okay, as you can see, I'll show you in the upright, there is a cup of love, but it's almost like in prison there, locked away. Okay, so you may have always loved them, but recognize that the timing was never right, or uh, you may have fallen out with them and you don't speak to them anymore. You've lost touch because it is in the reverse, but there's always been, I'm going to hold it, um, hold it uh, steady for you. You've always had a cup of love for them, shut away in the back of your heart, locked away, okay? Um, but you may not be in communication with them. So they don't really want to give you uh, an indication as to where you will meet this person, but they're giving me that this person is going to return to you. You're currently, it's a person that you're currently not in communication with, is what they're giving me here, okay? Uh, so that is that clarified. Uh, it feels like this is going to, um, that's, that is clarified, uh, this is going to happen once you action your life purpose path, okay? There is a transformation. So once the transformation, uh, if you're leaving, if you're currently, um, if you were broken up from somebody who was uh, money oriented, once you're over that energy, once you're over the hurt of that, then the new person, well, they're not really a new person. I hope I'm making sense. It's someone from your past who is not the person who is the King of Pentacles, okay? Someone separate from the King of Pentacles is coming back around to express their love. They, they can't forget you is what they're giving me here, 
okay? This is very much soulmate energy. You may have taken a karmic situation after, and the, the karmic situation is now done, and the soulmate comes around. Sorry, my wrist just clicked out. That's too many. One moment, please. I just need to... There we go. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I hurt my wrist. For those of you who are new to my channel, I hurt my wrist. Uh, it's nearly healed, but sometimes it clicks out and uh, I drop a whole load of cards. So I do apologize. Thank you so much. Woo. Well, that's quite explosive energy. Let me just go. Okay, look at that. And, oh, yeah. Well, they really wanted you to have all these cards. I'm just going to get those as well. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this new uh, love offer that's coming on in here, um, it's something that is someone that you may have been patient with in the past, but you either fell uh, out of um, favor with, um, but you still held a bit of a torch for them, and they still feel the same way about you. Now, it might be someone um, you may not have even expressed your love for this person, because that queen of swords in reverse the love was locked away, so maybe it never got spoken about. Maybe it was an unrequited love that never got spoken about on either side. And now this person is going to return from your past. As I said, it could be a friend that both of you had feelings for each other but never ever told each other. Um, it's coming back around and this person wants to give you a solid offer. It coincides with a new offer that comes towards you for your finances. Something that you want to action. So that's what I wanted to make sure. Um, as we can see, there are two waiting cards back to back along with this. So you may secretly in your heart have been waiting for this person to return one day to your life. Um, so you, you may have just lost touch because that's what happens. We outgrow each other, but you've always held a little candle. With the other person, you've been on their mind too and they're coming back. Now, this is um, a frustrated energy um, waiting for results. So you may have actually uh, applied for something and you're waiting for results and it hasn't come through yet. And on the 15th, they keep giving me the 15th, uh, is when this opportunity comes on in. And as an extension from that, you um, either bump into or this person contacts you, this person from the past. It really feels like it coincides, okay? This is a dual energy. It's almost like once you have the courage to action your prosperity path and take a leap of faith to do um, whatever your passion is, whatever your bliss is, follow your heart there, it all starts falling into place is what they're giving me, okay? You have to believe in yourself. This is a strength card. Again, another Leo card, major arcana card. Um, respect and courage lead forth with courage because whatever you're trying to manifest wants you okay you're going to be very successful but it really feels like you're trying to manifest this love also you can have it all that's what I'm seeing here um, you're you're just a little bit anxious though about the path to take uh, because this uh, is on the judgment card you wake up called the nine of swords so there is a lot of anxiety that goes along with this you may have even had nightmares about feeling stuck being in the same situation um, it may even be connected to that um, low vibe uh, king of Pentacles who was uh, only for money only interested in money and didn't give any affection um, yeah there's a decision to be made as you can see uh, with the two of swords now it is time to compromise um, but I really feel the compromise is multitasking, doing a little bit of extra work, uh, which you're not afraid of, Sag. Um, but what, what, when we get this card, the Two of Swords in the upright, um, there is no threat there. There is a perceived threat. You feel like uh, you have to make a compromise that you're uncomfortable with. But uh, this figure can actually put those swords down and take off the blindfold and see that there is no threat. Actually, they're in a very good position. They're on a beach. It's very calm. There is something about the moon, um, the moon phases, um, that is very important because they, I really feel moon energy is happening as well, um, where there is this reveal. Now, they're giving me the 15th, okay? So 
um, I know that the, the, the full moon is on the 3rd of August. So the 15th of August, there is some sort of decision you have to make. Um, it involves higher learning. It involves uh, opening your, yourself up to a, a different perspective there. Now, we are going to, uh, this is so interesting, they normally don't proceed with this deck for the whole spread. Um, but we're gonna go to the Fountain Tarot because they want a, a, a clarifier. Can we please clarify this energy? Thank you so much. Ah, as I said, I really feel the moon energy uh, as it comes through. There we go. So this is the, the reveal. 15th is definitely some sort of uh, important date for you making a decision or getting results that you've been waiting for. Um, it really feels like um, this decision speaks uh, to something that is a wild. Yeah, okay, I totally understand, thank you. Um, so it is about multitasking. They're showing me that you're doing something stable. There's, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's two figures here, either side. There is a wolf, a faint outline of a wolf and a dog, okay? So that represents the, the tame side and the wild side. So there is something that you will do alongside your normal um, everyday job, if that's if you're lucky enough to have one. Um, whatever your everyday practice is, and whatever however you get, um, you know your consistent stream of money. And then there is something that is a little bit wild, a little bit, you know, off the wall, original that you will action on the side. And it will be this dual energy um, that you you multitask the two, but one will eventually take over and be very successful. And then you will drop the, the, the other job or the other source of income that you no longer need because you're going to be very successful. Okay, now um, nine of uh, wands energy. Um, this is about um, maintaining your boundaries, but persisting in the direction persisting um in higher learning and persisting on this wake-up call that you've had persisting on your life's purpose even when you feel anxious about it they want you to persist okay <clears throat> now they've given me <clears throat> can i please have an outcome <clears throat> sorry i've just touched the swords card again and i'm starting to lose my voice so there is something some sort of communication that's coming on in <clears throat> or that you have to deal with, uh, that you're either shying away from, um, or, you know, they've just given me the sentence, speak your truth, even if it shakes your voice. It's very powerful, I don't know where that's from. Speak your truth, even if it shakes your voice. Okay, I'm gonna look that one up after the reading, but uh, very important for you, apparently. Um, they want you to be mindful of that sentence. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Sag? Can you give them uh, some indication of an outcome of this situation? Can you please uh, guide them towards, um, <clears throat> once they take their uh, prosperity path and they action this um, job on the side, what the outcome will be? Ace of Wands. Okay, so we have Ace of Wands here, and it is uh, a new project, a new urge to create, a new passion coming on in. Now, it can be uh, a new passion to do with um, this creative project or whatever that you're trying to action, but it's also a dual energy. And by dual, I mean a two, sorry, I'm just gonna put that down, a two-way uh, energy here, which is about, um, new passion coming your way. So this is also, this is in terms of ideas, following your passion, following your bliss, but also in terms of this love situation. It really feels that the two coincide together, a new passion coming your way, okay? Um, so this is uh, an overall outcome once you overcome uh, this situation. And we have the King of Swords and it's in the upright position. King of Swords is a lifestyle change, okay? King of Swords in the upright is about being a leader, strategically planning for your future, Gemini energy, um, but knowing your path, speaking your truth. Oh, again, they've said it, speaking your truth, even though your voice shakes. So maybe something um, in your job um, entails you doing that. Maybe you speak for a living to people about stuff, 
Maybe you're helping with counseling in some way. I, I'm not sure what it is that you do, but in some way you use your voice for something. Maybe you stand up for people's rights. Maybe you, um, interesting. Okay. Maybe this came up for you. Uh, and this came up for you in a, a last reading or something. They gave me the word whistleblower. Maybe you are someone who, um, speaks your truth, um, and whistleblows on a situation is what they're giving me. Ultimately, this is, um, an expansion card, um, because you've been planning for this moment to move forward in truth and expand your business like an entrepreneur. Okay. So, um, the ultimate outcome is following your passion leads you to be at the top of your game, speaking your truth, being a good communicator, but also expanding your business. The, the business that you want to action, the one, the one thing you want to achieve um, is expanding. You may even go international because this is an international card, um, but it's leading with good ideas and thought, a good uh, thought process. I don't know if you heard it. There was twice like a little buzz. I'm going to listen to this um, message back, but I heard a buzz twice. I don't know what that was from um, because there's nothing here to buzz. Um, so buzzing, maybe something, um, buzzing is important in some way, um, or bees are important in some way. There was some sort of buzz there that happened twice. Um, and it's gone cold here. So yeah, um, maybe something to do with your business. I'm not sure. Um, maybe buzz because buzz call, you know, make a call. Um, communications in some way is, uh, you know, giving someone a buzz or something uh, is important to your business. Uh, I'm not sure they're not giving any, me anything more than that. They want me to leave it there. Um, but ultimately, uh, they are suggesting that um, it's time to take action on your path and it will be very fruitful. Don't worry about the money. The money will flow to you. Um, but the 15th is important in some way um, and you you may action this job alongside or, or this passion alongside what you do already and rise up um, so that it starts to take over and be a main income okay but don't shy away from higher learning because they really want uh, you to proceed that way there's some sort of skill set or something that you need to learn in terms of wisdom before you can action this path Okay, even though you have wonderful original ideas and you're very different than everybody else, uh, there's something that needs to be learned here. Okay, uh, yeah, and it looks like love comes right on cue as well. It seems to come together, which is a bizarre, um, maybe they're connected. Maybe you come, uh, you are reunited with someone from the past because you take a certain path that um, they are strangely in as well. So yeah, well, we'll leave it there. I'm just going to give you a, a wisdom of the Oracle card before we close the reading. This is by Colette Baron reed Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can we please guide my beautiful Sagittarians? What do they need to know with regards to any advice uh, for August 2020? Can you please guide them? What else do they need to know? Thank you so much. Hmm. Okay, uh, they've just given me... Uh, I'm, they've just given me an image before I talk about those. Um... Coming back to the teeth, they're saying spinach in the teeth, spinach in the teeth. Now, this might be you at this present moment in time because the teeth were mentioned at the beginning. So they're showing me a spinach in the teeth. So yeah, you may be eating spinach and there is some in your teeth at this moment in time when you're reading, listening to this message or um, you had it earlier in the day or something like that. Something about spinach in the teeth. Um, if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. Now, we did get all that glitters, number 16. Okay, number 16 reduces to seven, which is a chariot energy, which is about action, taking action on your prosperity path. All that glitters, we all know that sentence means all that glitters is not gold. Um, but we're going to read, um, we're going to read what that means in the book um, for now. And we have blessed and it is in the reverse, number 22. 22 uh, reduces to four, which is the emperor energy. Again, about leadership, planning ahead, and um, actioning 
a, a financial future there. So we're just going to go to the book and read what it means for you. I wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, mm -mm -mm. So we've got 16. There is a need to see beyond the superficial, a desire to don on a mask or dress something up as up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something that you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercurial. It is only human to want to adorn oneself with trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it is a fast car, a big house, a title or a position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of a diamond, these icons let you know something about a person, a place or a thing. Or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that this is the time to see beyond the adornments and probe beneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all that glitters is gone. Would you still desire the object or the person? That's very interesting, especially since um, there is a shedding, a letting go, a separation of someone, that King of Pentacles energy that was all about money. Okay, so this is about you being very authentic in yourself and speaking your truth. And your prosperity message with this is sometimes an opportunity to look so good that it glitters like gold and you just can't resist it, especially when it appears others are doing so well and have hit the mother load. During the American gold rush, everyone hurried west to find their fortune and then deserted entire towns after the mining depleted in gold veins in the earth. So too can you deplete yourself as you chase after the latest shiny thing that has caught your eye. There is a mercurial quality to your present circumstance. Pay no attention to those who chase after fool's gold. Resist the temptations to be jealous of others. What they have achieved may not be the true success you seek, so don't compare yourself to them. You can only see the surface right now, only the sparkle. Be assured that you will experience your own shining moment if you stick to what you know. All that glitters may not be gold for you. Okay. So, um, definitely releasing anything that does not serve you on a financial setting, um, especially if people are being greedy. Um, what have we got here? We've got less number 22, and that is in the reverse. So you may be abandoning some paths that you decided to, uh, that were good for you, um, in order to lead, go for the one that is authentic, okay? And just because uh, it may not bring the finances that you hope for initially, it will grow, but it is a solid opportunity that speaks to your soul that is the right one for you. And we have blessed and it is in reverse. Humility is called for now as grace is an unearned gift. You didn't gain this by your own desires or actions. To be who you need to be, you can no longer do what you always did. In a way, you have to hit rock bottom, and what is required now is nothing less than total surrender. Then you will be blessed. Okay, so it's definitely about opening that head chakra there um, in order to uh, have that healing, but also recognize that there are... Um, the universe is lining things up, communicating with you at this time, and it's all about divine timing, okay? So allow yourself that surrender to uh, spirit uh, to help you action this, this path in the right time. And as you can see, it's not just a job or a way of life, a, 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 a lifestyle change that is coming. It also brings you into the path of your soulmate. So there is things being lined up behind your back by the universe at this time um, that may not be um, appearing to you until the 15th with some sort of reveal, 15th of August. Okay, my beautiful Sag, uh, we just get a trinket before we go. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Lord Angel. What do my beautiful Sagittarians need to know for August? Can you please guide them? What do they need to know? 
Okay, so we have an angel wing. So you're being guided and protected during this time, especially when you're trying to action decisions and, um, you know, take some final uh, clarity there for your life's purpose. Um, you're, they're guiding you to the path that you've always meant to be on. Okay, so you may have um, only realized where your passion really lies. Sorry, they're asking me to look at this very closely. Okay, interesting. So um, what they're showing me this here is somebody um, is either paving their garden. Uh, garden came up twice today. Um, paving their garden, maybe looking at certain stones or you know concrete slabs to make a path in the garden. Uh, that's what they're showing me here. Um, if that's you, then there's something in this message for you, is what they're giving me here. Uh, it's like choosing different, yeah, concrete slabs to make some sort of path, a little garden path or something, okay? But ultimately, you're being divine, uh, divinely guided to your prosperity, to a new passion, an urge to create this new venture. And we also have, um, interesting, thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. We have a fish, okay? So this fish is... As you can see, I'll hold it as still as I can. It's got a little gem in its mouth. Okay, now uh, this fish, uh, I always connect it to the Page of Cups. And uh, a, that's a surprise. A surprise uh, pops up from the Page of Cups, actual cup. You, you did receive it in reverse, and it's about not following your bliss because you're worried about finances. But uh, by following your heart, um, money will flow from there. As you can see, uh, they have, I'll show it to you in the upright, the, in the cup there is a fish that pops out. Now, this is the fish I always connect it with this card. And there is a jewel, a little pearl in the middle of this fish's mouth. So there is a, a surprise opportunity that pops up. Again, they're giving me 15. So this is obviously related to the 15th in some way, but it is a jewel. And they're showing me, it is, they're showing me because of a pearl of wisdom, pearl of wisdom. So again, some sort of, something that you learn will set you ahead of the competition and it will lead to this wonderful opportunity. Okay, so there is a surprise, 15th. Um, you may have been waiting for results. They want this on the page of cups and it's about following your bliss. Okay, following your heart. Okay, my beautiful Sag, uh, they want to leave it there. Let's uh, disconnect from this. I hope there was something that resonated for you in some way. If there was, please like or subscribe to my channel. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Okay, my beautiful Sag, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. Love and light.